it is one of the unusual days as many residents spent hours waiting on queues and filling stations at various locations in the state. This was as a result of the scarcity of premium motor spirits, popularly known as petrol. Now, the Lagos Zonal Chairman of Ipman, Akin Akinriande, explains that selling fuel at 165 Naira is unrealistic. Theophilus Elama tells us more. The crowd, the confusion and frustration it brings, and now normal sight at petrol stations within the city of Lagos. This is in contrast to the situation at some other stations. Though the product is not being sold here, black marketers have taken over the business. On seeing the camera, we could not speak with them, but we learned the price is more than 70% higher than the regulated price of 165 Naira per liter. Three days into the scarcity in Lagos, economic activities are already reflecting the harsh reality as many commuters are stuck with no transportation in sight. When I was coming to my house, from my house, I live in Ayege. This month I spent 400 naira instead of 200 naira. The issue of money from uh, Ayege to Ikeja, 200. From Ikeja to Ojota, it's 200. How long are we going to continue with this? So government has to do something, something very fast. This country, we are tired about this country. I go so many few sessions of them in the same queue I'm facing. So I've been the one on uh, uh, Ikeja, the same thing. So uh, we are, what we are seeing now is like no fair or they don't open up, tell us that there's no fair, then we know there's no fair, we'll go and pack our car. For years now, scarcity of petroleum products have become a mainstay in the life of the nation. There is widespread belief that the frequent scarcity is employed to further increase the price of the product. One thing that we do badly in this country is we do not know how to disseminate information to people. You know, at least once you communicate to the people out there, they will prepare their mind and they will have maybe alternatives. But here we are, everybody woke up on Friday and the next thing we saw, queues all over the place. I've already used almost one and a half, one and a half hours here now, without seeing anything to buy. I want to buy fuel for my car. There is no drop of uh, fuel in my car now. The sad reality now is no one knows when this crisis will abate or when life as we know it will come back. The frustration is palpable and many believe hope is lost for the country. Theophilus Ilama, TVC News, Lagos.